Oh boy. Hello, everybody. Let's see if we can get people up in here real quick. Make sure this thing is working. Need someone to leave me a message so I know that this thing is up and going. Okay, there we go. Scott Burke, what's up, brother? Stephen Bryan, Long Island, New York in the house. Soldier of Jehovah, what up from the California desert? That's what's up, man. Richard Cameron. Did you start reading that book yet, Richard? What do you think? B from Youngstown. Is that Big B from Youngstown? T. Sandler, what's up, T? Glad to have you. Jacksonville, Florida. Nick Couch, how are you, Chad? That's, I'm doing good. What's up with you? St. Paul, Minnesota in the house. Okay. <laughs> Soldier of Jehovah, that's what's up. Peter Delgado, Buffalo, New York. Home team. Dustin Prince coming through loud and clear. What's good, brother? Good. Is the volume good? That's what I want to make sure the volume is good, man. Watch me hook. This is Tony's son. I'm tuned in. Tony. Oh, yeah? All right. That's what's up. Texas in the house, Long Island, waiting for Amy Kruger to come in. Amy, if you're in here, let me know. Let me make sure she's coming in. I need her tonight. Just bear with me one second. I need Amy. Amy, where you at? We got 27 people in here. We really need to get this thing going, man. So hopefully, every, hopefully everybody tunes in tonight. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see what happens. I'm drinking some Coca-Cola, man. I got these old school bottles of Coca-Cola. These little tiny joints. I don't drink alcohol. Jose Villa. Jose, I'm glad you're here, man. So everybody knows, man, we're going to do this giveaway, right, for people that deserve it, people that need it. This isn't a thing where we're just going to go ahead and give away free money. We're going to give it to people that need it, man. And, you know, um, we'll talk a little bit about Jose Avila. Jose was a dude that was from New York. I mean, from the United States. He ended up going to prison. Louis Alejandro, what's up, homie? Louis got deported, right? I mean, Jose got deported. He's in Mexico. He knew what it was like to have money, man, and now he knows what it's like to struggle. So he's one of the dudes, man, that have been on my list for quite some time. So he's got a little daughter. Her birthday's coming up. I believe it's November 6th. He's over there working. He worked one day for $7. Could you imagine what it's like to work one day for $7? Absolutely horrible, right? But he's got a family to take care of. Tyler, what's up, man? What up, Chad? Can't wait to see the giveaway to all the people who need it and are struggling. Did anyone else get a late notification? Man, I hope the notifications are going out, man. You dropping the part two tonight? I don't know. You guys want me to drop that part two? I was going to wait till tomorrow for real. Conor McGregor song intro yet. What do you want, the Conor McGregor intro to come in here? That's what you guys want on the, on the opening? Holy... I don't know, man. I don't want people to be like, oh, you can't do that. You can't uh, do the Conor McGregor thing. But anyway, man, tonight let's talk about real fathers, real men, real leaders. Um, Jose Avila, I feel like this is a dude. This is a dude that um is an example of what I talk about. Like I said, this man works all day sometimes in Mexico for $7 to take care of his daughter. And he's a dude that was over here getting money, man. T, I appreciate you. He was getting money, and then his life was turned upside down. He took everything. Everything he had is gone. Lost his time. Big Mouse, I'm glad you're here, man. Big Mouse, I want you to write in these comments about you, man. I want to know a little more about you. How many kids you got? I think you might have told us before. I need to know how many kids you got, man. How much time? Did you do time, Big Mouse? 
Let me know. And then someone else asked me to bust open these shabangs. These joints are probably stale, right? I ain't ate these in 16 months since I left prison, but I'm going to eat a couple of them, man. I am a stale. No, I'm joking. They actually taste all right. Country, man, you always support the channel, man. And big shout out to you, bro, for real, man. I really appreciate you. I want to know if um, certified 014, are you in the house tonight? You still have any habits from when you were down, like spitting in the toilet? <laughs> yeah, all the time. B, I got six kids since I got out the feds hiking in Youngstown, 2015. So look, this is how we're going to do it tonight. We're going to give um, $400 to one person, $200 to another person, $200 to another person. And I'm on the fence on whether I should do $200 or $100 and $100. I think that's how we're going to do it, man. What do you guys think? What happens to a 50-year-old guy, first-timer, white, in for assault? Will he survive? Will he have to put in work? It depends on where you go, man. If you're white and you end up in the penitentiary, they don't really give a shit how old you are. You're going to put in some work if they need you. Or you're going to become the work, right? Pixman 585. I did 36 months at Big Sandy. What year were you there, Big Mouse? <coughs> yeah, I do, man. I want to split the money up because I think that there's – you know, people that deserve it. Jose Avila, if you live in the USA, I feel there's no reason you need to suffer. Where I live, there's very few opportunities, nothing like the USA. That's why many people sneak into the USA just to get a job. Complete the mission or become the mission. And, and that's really what it is, man. AK White Boy always supporting the channel. We got 45 people. I want people to go out and share this, man. I need to know if that certified 1014 is in the house tonight. Scott Burke says spread it out. That's what we're doing, man. Luke Summers. Luke Summers. Is he from uh, Minnesota? I might drop that video tonight if you guys want it. I really want to wait till tomorrow. I'll do this tonight, drop the video tomorrow. T. Chandler says, I think you should split the money. We're going to definitely do that, man. So, I mean, we're how many minutes are we in? Listen, like I said, um, is the AB California Federal, the original Shamrock, the top of the food chain? Listen, man, the AB dudes are some wild group of dudes, right? They get busy. I've been with some of them. But there was just so many other people, man, in groups. Um, Just so many where they're outnumbered now, bro. I'm just keeping it real. Um, For me, the biggest white cars in federal prison are the independents. Dudes that say they're independent, they're not in a gang. But really, man, they're in a gang, man. Chad, you need to shout out the homies we lost out here. E and D, my guys. Picks, man. I don't who I, I need to know who you are. The kids that he's talking about is E, Evan Carroll. I got a, I'll take a picture of it. I got a big tattoo on my side of an angel with wings. He was my best friend. Um, him and and, and the kid I says is, is my brother, DJ. I brought him on. Those are my two best friends. And D was my like right hand man as well. Um, both of them dudes got murdered, man in my city. And it was a crazy day, man. When I woke up, I got the newspaper. I might have talked about this before. And I'm looking at the newspaper and it says Evan Carroll fatally wounded. And I'm like, what? Like I knew what it said, but it didn't click, man. So I hit the button and I asked the cop. I was in the hole. And when I was in the hole back then, we had the little call buttons. I say, man, what does fatally mean? Like, why am I asking this dude this shit, right? And he goes, oh man, it means they're dead. And I was just like, damn, man. That was my partner, man, and he's dead. Um, I got this little cat right here. <laughs> this dude's like does wild stuff, man. Um, and I was just like, damn, man, this is my best friend, man. He's gone. He's he got murdered. Hey, Chad, you were in a four, right? I was in a four, yeah, and then I was in a two. Adam Oliveri was my celly when he stabbed the CO. You know the video that we're gonna drop either tonight or tomorrow talks about that. I talked to Tony again, part two. They almost killed me in Big Sandy. So listen, man, like I was saying earlier, man, Jose Avila, man, I'm going to give him $400, man. This is a brother that knows what it's like 
to struggle. And really, man, like I said, man, for me, I feel like the dude's an example. He's an example of what a father should be, man. You got to go out there and bust your ass for $7 to take care of your kid. And he's doing it, man. So $400 is going to go to Jose Avila, man. And I appreciate you, man. He shares the channel. He's always tuning in. And like I say, man, this ain't my channel. It's our channel. That's why I don't want to get on here and talk about nonsense, man. There's so many things that people that haven't been in prison or been affected by the criminal justice system don't understand. You know, you get a lot of these dudes. Troy, what's up, brother? Appreciate you stopping in. You know, a lot of people get on here and they watch these channels and these dudes say things. And But, man, it's not really – um. Man, they don't always give it to you real, man. They don't always give it to you wrong. I'm not saying nothing bad about these dudes. But, man, there's shit, man, that people – you'll never understand until you got to put them shoes on and dance that dance. When you got to dance that dance, then you understand. When, you, when you're when you hoping that there's a lockdown so you could just get some peace, man, that, that's real, man. Cuba, what's up, man? 038. I was watching a documentary that stated that Kelly A.B. literally took out the NLR. Night of the Long Knives and Greenlighted the whole gang. Did you ever hear of this? No, I haven't. But, you know, Louis Alejandro, I'm a single father, too, and I just thank God I'm doing okay. Not the best, but also no struggle. I'm going to tell you guys something else, man. What's your longest bid in the hole? I think I did 13 or 14 months in the hole, and, and does it affect you? Definitely. Brandon Douglas. Brandon Douglas, man, I want you to know something, dude. You were on my list, man, for a long time. There's your name. But Brandon hit me up and said, Chad, if I was on the list, man, give it to someone else because keeping it real with you, man, I got a good job. I finally got a job and I'm, and I'm doing a lot better. Give it to someone that needs it more than me. That's what I'm talking about, man, right there, man. Like this dude is, for this dude, uh, for this dude to say that, man, it says a lot about him and a lot about his character, man. Um. So that's why, I mean, that, that dude's an example, right? And that's why we're going to be able to get that the money to someone else, man. Because Brandon was like, yo, bro, I'm cool, man. So big ups to Brandon. But don't worry, this ain't the last giveaway. Because like I said, this ain't my channel, man. It's our channel. And for real, man, if the channel makes money, we're going to give that money, some of that money to the people, man. Because the channel wouldn't be able to make it without you guys, man. People like Liddy, little Bobby Nelson, man always talking about me, you know, to other people, you know, pumping up the channel. But like I said, if the channel helps you, man, if it keeps you on the right path, and I know it ain't easy, man. Don't think for a minute that sometimes I think about things. You know, there's been times where I've been like, man, this shit's overwhelming. You know, maybe prison is a little bit easier. And then I got to get a hold of myself, man. That's why I got my prison number on this necklace, man. Because it always reminds me. There's another dude that wrote me and said he put his work boots right next to the door next to his prison shoes or something. And it reminds him, what shoes do you want to wear today? So it's not easy, man. Jose, man, I appreciate you, man. And I want to see you do the right thing, man. I've had three vehicles seized by the police in three separate inc incidents, but I've never been to prison. It pissed me off. But you know, it's about the money. All of them were kept over eight ounces of weed in Florida. Ridiculous, man. You know, the government will take your shit, man, and they will sell it. That's what people don't understand. This shit's all a bunch of bullshit sometimes, man. Troy Emery, great move. Brandon shows a ton about your character. It does, man. Character education. Brandon, man, I appreciate you doing that, man. Only had a cup of coffee in jail four times, so I never did serious time. But my friend who was a white Serrano called Soledad Prison Warrior School. Some of these places are warrior, warrior schools. Donnell, what's up, brother? Glad to see you here. We got 63 people, man. 34 likes. Hit the like button, man. The like button helps people out, man. It helps people out. You know, we can talk about current events also tonight. Um, there's a chick named Autumn, right? Autumn checks out the channel. She, I think she's got six kids. Sometimes she's not always doing the right thing. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm sending the money. I'm going I'm to give $200 for Autumn. It's not for Autumn. It's for the kids, man. Marcus, we appreciate you. Um, Ever do time with any IRA men? We're going to talk about that in a minute. I'll keep that at the top of my head. Big Mouse, I got my eyes on you, man. Don't trip. So that'll be 600 so far, right? We're going to give Autumn $200. I'm sending it to a person that's going to go buy some food for these kids. Um, And that person is Amy Kruger. Amy Kruger's going to 
take this money and go buy some food for these kids. She had a birthday party for the kid, one of the kids about two weeks ago, because the mother man just didn't have it. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're going to um we're gonna we're gonna give that other 200 to April. That's important, man. I, I want to see them kids, man, being all right. You know what I mean? So, and, you know, like I said, I don't want to get on here and talk about nonsense. Tonight's not the nonsense night. You know what I mean? We're just we're just not going to talk about nonsense. We're going to do all things positive tonight. So if you say some bullshit in this little thing they got on the side here, what the chat or whatever, that's what we're going to do tonight, man. We're going we're gonna to talk about positive things. You know, you guys see like these, you know, some of these thumbnails and stuff like that. Man, we're into doing the right thing, man. We're into doing good things for other people tonight. Tony Ellis, man. This kid was the kid that we called the baby right here. At, um, at Big Sandy, you guys heard his story. The interview either tonight or tomorrow was with him. Um, I know you guys seen a bunch of stuff about Elpo. I'll bring a dude on from New York, man, that we did the interview the other day, Reggie. We'll talk a little bit about him and what he was like. You know, he did some things that people weren't happy about. And you know what? Some of them dudes that do stuff like that, guess what? I've seen plenty of them in prison too, man. Stab people and everything. So sometimes people get it twisted. And you'd be surprised, man, how many people talk that shit, but if they're facing 100 years, life sentence, 10 years, 20 years, you'd be surprised what they would do. It's all good until they put them shoes on and have to dance that dance. Robert Rooney, the streets don't forget, Chad. In fact, I'm trying to get my show off, too, called Ears to the Streets. Hit me up on the email, man, and I'm going to call you, Pix, man. Hope Peppermint is doing well. I haven't seen her on three videos. She's doing all right. She chimes in. She definitely chimes in. 70 people, man, hit that like button. So what do you guys think, man? You think that the money should have went to uh, Jose Avila and, and Autumn so far? Truth is, I just missed prison multiple times. Every time I eat a meal, I can't help but think how bad I wanted one while incarcerated. That's what's up. You want to talk about being hungry, man? I'll tell you about being hungry. It's crazy, man, to go to bed hungry at night, man. When I was in Polak, I was in the hole over there for a long time, seven, eight months. Man, I used to starve in there, man. Straight up, I'd be starving in that in there. And just, man, you don't want to live like that, man. You don't want to feel like that. You don't want to go to bed hungry. I've been so hungry, I've ate toilet paper and toothpaste. Oh, my God, I've seen people do that shit. That shit is crazy. See, no evil sin. I've been watching your pies. I want to say awesome content, positivity. God, God bless you. And if you keep up the great work, your pies on. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, man. I'm trying to get a little bit more cash together to get my business up off the ground. Do you know of anything as far as grants or loans for ex-felons? Really, bro, I don't know off the top of my head, but that Google thing works, man. So get on there and see what's up. There's a lot of reentry things. They got a thing in my city, man. That I was at my parole class the other day. And they talked about, man, giving stuff out. Joel's Mill, each one teach one. Let's stand up for all our children and keep them on solid ground. God bless Chad. Nah, man, God bless you, man. And God bless all the fathers, man. The real fathers, real leaders, real men. God bless the single mothers out there. God bless the mothers that are just, that aren't single. God bless them all, man. And, you know, tonight, man, like I always tell people, go out and give your, give your, uh, give your son a hug tonight, man. Just tell him that you love him, man. Give your daughter a hug. Tell your daughter that you love her, right? Yeah, bro, Jose got it coming. That, hey, like I said, man, man, work. he works all day for $7, man. I don't want to work an hour for $7, you know what I mean? But would I if I had to? Do you mind more gang questions? Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Ask. I'll answer. Anybody got any questions, ask and I'll answer. Melinda Morrison, is she in is she in on this live right now? I want to know that for sure. Melinda, I need you to chime in if you're on here. Marcus, it appears that the big four Cali gangs are the most vicious. Let me tell you something, man. You'd be surprised how vicious people are. A Raymond Noodle goes a long way, believe that. <laughs> for real, right? Um for me, man, the most dangerous gang in federal prison, man, and I had a lot of respect for these dudes. And got I let me see if I got some pictures over here with some of these dudes. Um, kicked it with a lot of the Serenios, man. 
I had a real close friend, Spanky. Um, I don't know if I can find these pictures, man. He's my, this is a good dude right here, man. And he's serving 36 years. I've done everything I can to help this kid, man. And I just can't get him out of jail, man. And we were really, really close. And I, and I still try to help him as much as I can, man. It's crazy. Maybe on the next live, I'll bust out my pictures, man. And we'll, and we'll bring that out. Is Wall Street the top of the drug market from your experience? <laughs> I'd say so, yeah. Chad, have you ever heard of diesel therapy? Of course, man. Diesel therapy is one of the worst things in the world, man. I, I know there's dudes, yeah, Mexican mafia, Serenios are, are like, you know, they're guys that are under them. Um, I was on the yard with a couple of the big homies, people like Fox. Have you ever been on Con Air and how was it? Yes, I've been on Con Air and it was fucking horrible. Um, I've been on it numerous times, dude. Chad, how's the North Carolina car in the Fez? They hold it down. One of my best friends ran the North Carolina car, man. Cedric Dean, I brought him on before. We didn't do the video. We did the audio because the video didn't save for some reason. That was when I was first learning. But might be able to um, might be able to get him back on here again. Yes, most definitely. My weekly payout here in Tijuana, 108 hours, just barely gets me by. That's understandable, man. I know that it's tough. Hey, Big Mouse, you're in Tijuana too, bro? i seen words that i never seen in the streets. You ever cross paths with Mitra T? No, but I was on the bus going to Polak, USP Polak with, I think it was his cousin or his nephew. Um, I had a celly that, um, I had a celly that was in a unit with Big Meech before when they were in Polak, FCI Polak, I think he, they were in. Big Mouse, I remember Senor Fox and Bobby. I know Bobby too, man. Um, dangerous dudes, man. Fox, <laughs> dangerous dude, homie. Um, black boxed. Black boxes suck. Texas prison stories, $2, man. That's what's up, man. We appreciate you. Tim Snow in the house. Check out Texas prison stories. This dude helped me too, man. He's part of helping us get the 10,000 people by bringing me on his show and a lot of respect for him, man. I grew up in La Puente, California. Bunch of Serenio gangs, and a couple of Crip gangs and Filipino gangs. And next door, West Covina, Texas. Thank you, Big Mouse. Yeah, bro, I got deported when I got out of the feds. So, Big Mouse, this is what I'm going to do, man. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you $100, man. I'm going to split this because I was torn between you and one other person. And I want you to hit me up on my email, freedomfightersPC101 at gmail.com. Hit me up on there, and we'll, we'll take care of business. I'll take care of that for you tomorrow, man. But you're getting $100, man. I respect you. Respect what, you know, taking care of your kids. And, and that's what it's all about, man. You know, when you take care of your kids, man, and you mold them and you put them on the right path, it stops them from having to go through the bullshit that we had to go through. You know what I mean? How many total inmates are typically at a USP? It depends, man. 1,500, 1,800. It depends on where you're at, man. I used to know them numbers. Just don't remember. Kelly Gang. Gangs are versus numbers of Colorado. Kelly B hit a yard. We immediately smashed them off. Yeah. Eric Duncan, what's up, big doll? Realish. I remember Marsh is the truth. I appreciate you, Texas prison stories. I'll try. I'll try more than they were designed for. Big Mouse, anything? That was big dog. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to shoot you that 100 tomorrow, bro. What up, big homie? Showing love from Johnstown, PA. That's what's up, Jesse. j Bo, how's the Ohio card? Depends on where you're at, man. Um, I got along real well with a bunch of Ohio dudes, although, you know, I had that incident in Big Sandy with Ace because he wanted to be a tough guy, and the dude was a real weirdo, man, for real. So, you know, they ended up shooting him from the tower, shot him in the back, blew his guts out. Shit is real, right? When the cops shoot you in the back, your guts get blown out. The nurse is down there trying to put his guts back in his stomach, wipe the dirt off. Just a bad day, man. The dude had, a, like, 300 years. I think he was featured on America's Most Wanted. But he was the shot caller, but he was just, I don't know how he was the shot caller of the Ohio car. He was just a weird dude, man. You know, we had, they had dudes over there like Big J. Anybody knows Big J? Man, J would have been a much better um, shot caller, I would say. You know, I know you guys hear about shot callers and all that, but really, man, you know, there's some horrible shot callers in there. There's some good ones, too. Good ones make good calls, man. You don't just do bullshit like I talked about Dinky. And I think his brother hit me up today. Because I know Dinky's real last name. He's like, what do you really think about this dude? And the truth is, when I was with him, man, he called a lot of bad shots on good white dudes. Quote, unquote, man. He'd have you hit, man. 
or some bullshit. And he shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't do that. You talk about you're for your people. There's not Rome. I don't care what color you are, what race you are. You're Mexican, you're black, you're white. Listen, man, if you're for your people, you're for your people, man. And there's no problem with that. But when you say you're for your people, be about that shit, man. Don't go out, you know, brutalizing other white dudes for no reason. Don't don't go out and uh, don't go out and stab um other black dudes, man, for no reason. Don't go stab other Mexican dudes just because. That's one thing I I just don't understand some of them politics. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, but all of all things, my overnight jail stays around Albany, New York. And the three they stay in Dade County. I'm sure Dade County wasn't no joke. I think he's it's pretty well known. Yeah, well, honestly, dude, he's a piece of shit. Buddy Love from the DC car. I don't know um, if it was Love that was in USP Lee. One hundred percent, man. Love was a good man, respectful. He had about thirty years, right? I know Love real well, man. Um, did some business with Love. Had some issues, man. We had to sort out before with some of our people. But Love is a good dude, man, and a dude that I never forgot. DC dude, very good dude. When the drugs take over your life, that's when the dinky comes out. <laughs> Yeah, man, the dude used to do crazy shit, man. Dinky would do crazy shit. He, you know, he'd, he'd have white dudes hit, man. You know, they, they plotted on one white dude to steal his commissary. Bunch of bullshit. You know, crazy shit. So let's see, man. We gave out the money to Jose Avila. $400 to Jose. $200 to Autumn for the kids to get some food. Um, Big Mouse, 100 So we're at 700 right? Melinda Morrison, are you here? Eric Duncan. <laughs> One of my big brothers never said go do this. He always said let's let's do go do this. And that's what you respect, man. I would never ask people to do shit, man, that I wouldn't do for real. Um, and I try, man. We you know we try not to do shit to, to you know what I mean. Try not to call bad shots, man. To do bad shit to people. Sometimes, man, in prison your hand is forced. Like, you know, we talked about that dude spitting on that dude. You know, someone spits on you in prison, man. I don't know. I guess whether you're a cop or not, you got to do what you got to do. You spit on me, we got a serious problem, man. I'm not waiting. I'm not talking to your shot caller. I'm not talking to your homeboys. If you spit on me or slap me or call me a bitch, something like that, then, then we got a problem. I'm not, we're not politicking this shit out, man. It is what it is. But that cop shouldn't have handcuffed that dude and punched him in the face. You want to be a tough guy? Fuck it. He spit on you. Spit on him back. If you got to start rumbling, start rumbling. Give him a fair shake, right? I mean, the cop was a pretty big dude. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Chad, do you remember a Eric Wilson in the Tennessee car? He went by E-Rock. Where was he at? I was with a bunch of Tennessee dudes when we were in USP Lee, too. Chad, I seen a guy get spit in the day room. They ran to a cell to fight, and the guy who got spit on laws, man, it was a double whammy. Well, you're going to hear about this shit, man, on this next video where this blood kid – was running the Bloods, man, in Big Sandy. And um, South Carolina dude came in there, knocked him out over the TV, and you know what ends up happening next, man? is like, wow. You'll hear about it in, in the video. I don't want to um, ruin the video. I know you guys want the video tonight, man, but I really want to put it out tomorrow. So I need you guys to chime in, man. It's not my channel. It's, it's our channel, man. It's not my 10,000 subscribers. It's our 10,000 subscribers. And like I said, man, I'm doing this stuff, man, because I like doing it. It's therapeutic. I think it helps people. And that's what it's about, man. It ain't about, like, just gossip and let's beef with this YouTuber and beef with that YouTuber and talk shit about this guy. I don't know Adam Branch, Young Daz, but Young Daz, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you coming, you know, showing up all the time, sharing the channel. That's what's up. Chad, help me with my rent. Michael, <laughs> man, bro, I'm trying to pay my mortgage this month, bro. <laughs> Do the video tomorrow. We got the live tonight. Just wait till tomorrow. It gives me something to look forward to. Okay. Is there any Cincinnati white boys in the feds? Yeah, I had a, a celly that was a Cincinnati white dude, man. Um, we used to call him Blinky because he had a he had a dead eye. Um, I got some pictures with him. Next week, I'll bust out some pictures or something on the live. Hey, Chad, Troop wants to know about the Tennessee cars. They're East Tennessee cars. It's just a Tennessee car everywhere I've been. Tony Ellis, Dinky getting too much play. Dude was a coward without his homeboys. Chad, I hope your channel blows up and get rich off this shit, man. <laughs> I appreciate you, but if we get rich, the people are going to get rich. I promise you that, man. I'm not going to forget about you. We're going we're going to do it together, right? Um, Tony, you remember when Dinky, you know, remember when they hit the dude on the baseball field and uh, 
they told us, man, get our cleats. And we all went out there with knives and Dinky wouldn't come on the other side of the fence. And Adam was going to kill him. Adam was going to kill that dude that night. We had three guys for every one of their dudes, man. And everybody had a dude like, Hey, look, Chad, Frank, and Kyle, you're going to hit this dude, Tony coffee. And so, and so you're going to hit this dude. They had no wins that night, man. And they knew it. Then we ended up having this big politic meeting out there on the yard and they didn't want it, man. Do all the bikers stick together as pass holders? Almost everywhere I've been, yes, they do. But there's not a lot of them, so they all stick together. Tony Starks, what's up, man? Joe Klosky, Adam Oliveri, yeah. Adam was my celly, dude. Hell yeah, I was out there booted up with the iron on me. And I had one of them, um, <laughs> what of them, uh, damn, what was it, man? Uh, a bocce ball. Chad, get me a Ben, ben and Jerry's ice cream. <laughs> them Ben and Jerry's ice creams are banging, right? How about when they come out with the moose tracks or that uh, Dolce de Leche? That was my favorite ice cream, man, in prison. He's a good dude, funny as hell. Yeah, he was my celly, dude. Tomorrow's video was about him. We talk about him when he stabbed the, the CO in there and how crazy that shit got. Did an interview with Tony Ellis. They almost killed me in Big Sandy Part 2. Uh, you ever locked with Skinny Joey Merlino or Philly Guy? I don't know them, bro. Philly Guy. I don't know. I know Tony Guy from Boston. Box balls, big. Yeah. Them bocce balls are dangerous, man. I've seen people hit with um horseshoes. I've seen people hit with bocce balls. I've seen some wild shit in there, man. Big Mouse. Hey, Chad, can you send me your email? I got a pen and paper ready. Freedom Fighters PC 101 at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. I, hey, I was on the plane with Adam. He was going to an FCI. And I was going to um, FMC Lexington. Did he get kicked out of the FCI already? Chad, any interviews come up with any LCN Mafia? Not yet, man, but maybe we'll get some dudes on here. Where did the religious guys fit in when in prison? It depends on where you're at. I've seen a horseshoe split a dude's cheek. Them horseshoes are vicious, bro. I'd rather get stabbed than hit with a horseshoe or hit with a lock or a bocce ball. Freedom fighters like the IRA. You asked about the IRA, man. I was with a dude from my city, man, that did an armor car heist. Um, he ended up getting locked up. He was an Irish dude, but I think he had an Italian last name. And honestly, man, he used to always talk this tough shit. And I don't want to talk bad about Irish dudes. He would always talk this tough shit, right? And always want to fight some white dudes. And I used to be like, man, what's up with this dude, man? And the littlest black dude in the unit got into it with him and he slapped him. He slapped this Irish dude that was, you know, a gangster that was killing people. And the dude didn't fight back. And I was just like, this was in the county jail. I was like, dude, what's up with you, man? Straight sucker, man. Straight sucker. Respected by all if you for real in your walk and they will know if you're real or not. The troubles in Ireland, some deep shit. Have you ever heard of Toker from Brownside? The cartel got him in 18. No, bro. They're good snipers, though. Held Bible studies weekly. Yeah, like people that people that are like in the church, man, as long as you're, you're doing all, the right thing and you're all right, you're all right. That's the one thing I've experienced, man, in prison for the most part. If you stay out of the way, man, you're good. Sometimes you can end up in a place like Big Sandy. you got money. P people will plot on you. You know, shit like that does happen. You get to FCI, you're a church guy. Just be a church guy. You know what I mean? No problem with that, man. Toker was the Hispanic rapper. Okay. I know uh, I, I know of his story a little bit. I think I read some of that stuff before. You guys ever see these little ass Coke bottles? I seen them in the store the other day. You you meet Simon City Royals game member in the feds. No. Man, one of the most vicious stabbings I saw was when BJ stabbed Jason in A3 at Big Sandy. What year was that, Big Mouse? Are you talking about TJ? Fall in line. How about we as a channel set a GoFundMe donation box where we help those that need help feeding the kids? I'll be the first to help. We could do that, man. That's something we can definitely do. Simon C. Rolls run with the Latin folks. A lot of the Midwest gangs I didn't really know, man, but I was cool with some Midwest dudes. Big Sandy. There was a bunch of Midwest dudes over there, man. So Melinda Morrison, too. She's trying to get her son back, single mother. 
Um, what we're going to do, we're going to get Melinda Morrison $200, man. Melinda Morrison, you're getting $200. Hit me on my email. I want to help you. I know you're a single mom with a little boy. We want to help you out. J. Bo, Elbo Martinez killed in Harlem. I'm going to bring Reggie on tomorrow, man. Black dude from New York was in D.C. getting money, accused and convicted of a couple murders. We're going to bring him back on tomorrow. We're going to talk about um, just going to talk about that D.C. scene. We'll probably talk a little bit about Elpo. I know he knows him personally. I see a lot of these channels putting out stories about him. We're going to bring someone on that actually knows him. Um, you must have had mad cans of sodas in your cell. <laughs> I had a store, man. And when I ended up leaving USP Lee, dude hit me in the back with some um, rocks in the net bag. Straight pussy. Um, I, I probably had over, I probably had about 2,000 sodas in different people's rooms, though. They used to sell, uh, they used to sell orange juice there, too. I remember I had 360 cans of orange juice, and they were hard to get. Have they got anyone on Elpo's hit? I don't know. You're doing good things out here, Chad. I'm glad to be a part of it. Jay Money, man, I'm glad that you're, you're here with us, man. You ever run into any Italian mafia in the feds? Jacob Farrell, of course. Um, I was with the mafia cops, both of them. I've talked about some of this stuff before. Um, I talk, uh, Let me see. I was with a bunch of them dudes, man. I was actually um, in a wreck cage with Whitey Bulger. He was in a wreck cage next to me. He was cell alone, wreck alone, when I did all that time in the hole. And I used to talk to him. Really wanted to pick his brain, man. Like I say, a lot of these dudes never fascinated me, but I was fascinated by him and his story, man, and to be able to talk to this dude. Maybe it's because I'm Irish. I don't know. Yep, Robert Rooney, gas pipe. Yep, that was them. I was with both of them dudes in two different prisons. Um, I was with Guy Fisher for a long time. I don't know if you guys know who Guy Fisher is. First black man to ever own the Apollo Theater. It's with him. Appreciate Texas prisons are from Texas too. I certainly respect the work in your brothers like Chad continue to do. Texas prison stories tonight. If you haven't subscribed to Texas prison stories, jump over there and subscribe, man. Good dude, man. Like I've talked to this dude on the phone and everything. Dude is really a good dude. AK, where I ran a stamp store. Was that guy's name Sam Miller who got slapped? <laughs> I've seen dudes slapped. I've seen a few dudes slapped before, even a cop. And the cop just hit the deuces and didn't do shit for real. Country, are you still here? Marcus Junius Brutus, yes. Guy Fisher, man, brought us out some pictures with Guy Fisher. Guy Fisher was like a father figure to a lot of men in prison, man. Um, He went to prison without a GED, left with a doctorate degree. So that says a lot about him. Took him a long time. But it is what it is, man. I would love to pick Tommy Silverstein's brain as well. Country, are you in here? Nesbitt made it. Welcome home, guy. Country, I'm going to give you the other $100, man. You're always supporting the channel. I know things ain't easy for you out there, so you're getting that other $100. Hit me up on the email so we can connect on the phone. Send me your phone number. Melinda Morrison, Big Mouse. Make sure you guys hit me up on the email. I got your money for you, man. Appreciate you guys sharing the channel, doing what you do. Next week, we'll talk about current events. Let's keep pushing it, man. Listen, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate every single buddy that's on this channel because, like I said, it's not my channel. Amy, I talked about Autumn now that you're in here. I'm going to send you the $200 for Autumn so you can take care of them kids. I think she's got six, six kids, right? Was one of her kids the kid that had the YouTube channel that had um, autism that wanted me to shout out his YouTube channel? We're definitely sending that $200 to Amy to take care of Autumn's kids, man. That's important to me. Jose Avila got the 400 Amy. Autumn, 200 Melinda Morrison, 200 Big Mouse, 100 And Country, 100 And for any of you that haven't got the book, 92 people in here, man, grab the book. Blood on the Razor Wire. When you buy a book from us, it helps us out, man. Marcus Junis Brutus. We appreciate you, big dog. I've been binge-watching your shit, homie. Great work. I appreciate you, man. Having good folks like Chad is a blessing. I appreciate you. 20000 next, Chad. Like I said, man, it ain't my channel. It's our channel. And when we get to $20,000, we will be giving out some more money. How about that? It's Christmas for vets, but thank you. I don't know what you mean, country. You're getting $100. I don't care if you want it or not. 
If you don't want it, man, go give it to someone in your neighborhood that needs it. Ever watch Hard Intentions? Only two guys I'll give money. B, keep doing what you're doing, bro. You're helping a lot of people. I'm trying. And B, I got you on my radar next time too, man. I wish I had more to give you guys, like giving away the money that we make on this channel, man. Because like I said, it's not about me. It's about us. It's about saving lives. It's about saving kids from life imprisonment and premature death in the streets through, you know, our experiences. And for real, man, sometimes we got to relive this shit, man. We got to relive this shit to keep from going back. Cuba, big ups to you too, man. You're a good dude, Chad. I appreciate you, man. So listen, I'm about to do an interview with this brother Reggie right now when we close this. So I'm going to be here for another hour. But I'm going to close this thing down. We're in here for 40 minutes. I appreciate everybody. Come across any Albanians very wild here in the Bronx and work with the Italians. Marcus, let me tell you something. One of my best, best friends in prison when that shit happened with me and Big Sandy was Victor Lorenzano. Victor ended up with 80-something years. His co-defendants were all Albanians. They were coming off the side of buildings, going through their windows, and robbing drug dealers, man. Um, I've been with some Albanians. The two Albanian brothers. I've been with some, some crazy dudes, man. Danielle Foster Country, you're a good man. Just take it and help someone else out. That's what's up. You thought about wearing other sport team hats? Man, I'm from New York, baby. I, I wear Red Sox hats once in a while. Do you wear wanky hats and mug shots too? Because I can't see you without it. No, they take them. I got a couple videos on here like I had to rush home one time, and I did videos without hats on. You'll see you'll see a video or two on there, I think. Maybe we'll do the live next week without a hat. I'll come in here and look all educated, right? Was on the other account. Sandman was on the other account. Did you know I'm Ami Rolls and Big Sandy? I don't know, man. I might have, man. I don't know a lot of people by their first names. I know them by, you know, their street names. That was many years ago. Cuba need a 3X or a 4X shirt. Cuba, hit me up on freedomfighterspc101 at gmail.com. I think I have one 3X shirt left, a white one. I'm going to send it to you, man. Hit me up. If I got one, I'm going to send it. This motherfucker said, no, wear it. It's your trademark. That's what it is, man. Same thing with the respect thing, right? With respect. I'm going to close the show, man. I appreciate everybody. Bro, how do you wear a Red Sox hat? I don't wear a Red Sox hat. I'll tell you how you wear it. You throw it in the mud, man. Um, But uh, I, I wore a Boston Celtics hat. I'm Irish, kid. And my wife likes the Boston Celtics as well. So anyway, um, you guys probably want to see my wife one time. Right? I don't always, you know, you might have seen her. This is my wife, man. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Got the four-leaf clover on, right? Which I lost. I need a new one for Christmas in case my wife's listening. Tim Snow, whoop, whoop. Tim Snow, that's what's up, kid. Tim, if I knew how to bring you in on a live, I'd bring you in the way you did me. I just don't know how yet. I'm learning stuff, though. All right, man. Robert Rooney, Sam, man. Listen, I'm going to close out, man. Got nothing but love for all of you. You know, we bust open the shebangs. I'm going to go let my family eat the rest of them, see if they like them. God bless everybody, man. I appreciate you. And tonight, man, with respect, go in your son's room and just let him know that you love him, man. Go in your daughter's room and let her know that you love her. Melinda Morrison, I want you to hit me up on that email. Make sure. Definitely want to help you. I hope you get your son back. Definitely. Oh, big mouth. She's good. <laughs> she's a pretty girl, man, but she's got a good heart, man. I love her and I care about her, man. Thought it was over with, man. Thought I'd never see her again when I went to prison. I got 40 years, man, and just blessed to be able to um, reconnect. And now we're having uh, twin boys. So everybody, man, Scott Burke, everybody that supports the channel, I love you guys, man. I, I got to go, even though I don't always feel like going. Share these chips with my family. And at 9 o'clock, I'm doing an interview. We'll talk a little bit about Elpo with a dude that actually knew him instead of just talking about him, all right? With respect, Blood on the Razor Wire TV. We're out until tomorrow.